we are going to talk about the cultural heritage issues. So do you identify the woman, the old lady in here, the very iconic Wang Ud? So what do you mean by cultural heritage? Cultural heritage is an expression of the ways of living developed by a community and passed on from generation to generation. And that includes the customs, practices, places, objects, artistic expression, and values. Cultural heritage is often expressed as either intangible or tangible cultural heritage. So intangible could be the, um, our values. And tangible are those that we can touch. We need to preserve our cultural heritage because it is it tells the story of who we are. But there are issues facing with regard to our cultural heritage. This photo is a historical site in Manila. And this is, it was during the Spanish colonization. This is the Manila Intramuros the walled city in Manila. This one is part of the UNESCO cultural heritage. I, I've been here, it's very nice, but going there is also the, a kind of experience. And if you're there, you can see the greens and this landscape, oh, it's breathtaking. So this is the first issue seeming apathy and lack of concern of the government and the public as it seems that it's not a priority because mas una man good ang uh, work, money, livelihood. So, kani mga, mga inani na sites na wala na tagad. In general, people, uh, in general about the deteriorating state of various places around the country showcasing how the Filipino live at a given time. Their customs arts and conveniences. Wala na kayo na siya na-prioritize because karoon lahi na ang focus. Again, livelihood or entertainment. These places are the Banaue Rice Terraces, the cobbled streets, and Spanish houses in Vigan and Intramuros. Manila, Baroque ch churches, Kagsawa ruins in Bicol, in various museums, archives, and historical places in other parts of the country. So these are the cobbled streets in Vigan. This is the old, old houses in the Spanish era. So this is how we lived before. And this is one of the Baroque church. So look at how how beautiful the architecture is. It's so it's very difficult to like how many years did they finish this? And it is the Filipino who built these churches. And look at the stone carvings. How delicate that is. And it is um these are made by hands. And this is the Kagsawa ruins, that's ruins, that runs in Bicol. So this is the Mount Mayon, and this is the ruins. Okay. Another issue is they're equally becoming irrelevant and almost forgotten to, to the present generation are the other important repositories of our culture, which is our folk songs, the kundiman, the folk dances, the nikling, maglalatik, pandango sa ilaw, sayaw sa bangko. Because it has been replaced by K-pop or whatever, uh, mga pop cultures uh, from uh, the Americans. Nawala na slowly diminishing kanina mga folk songs and folk dances. And the most popular ways of depicting Filipino culture also the folk devices. These artifacts of our behaviors in the past would have given us a clear and distinct portrait of a true Filipino in thoughts, words, and deeds. So look at that um, painting. This is kundiman. Like, Filipinos used to do harana to when they, cur when they court someone. Karun, they use Facebook or whatever social media is they just text hi, W U D. What you doing? 
And then flirting sa chats. And compared, before wala. Palakasan ng loob ng mukanta para lang sa iyang hinigugma. Okay. This is the Nikling. It's a painting of Fernando Omersolo. If they do that after after the harvest, the people gathered. That that is their entertainment before. Okay, wala. They don't have radios, TVs, cell phones. They don't have that. So this is their form of entertainment. Maglalatik. So they they dance and create sounds with coconut shells. Pandango sa ilaw. And you have the sayaw sa bangko. And the flute, bamboo flute. Okay. Also, the Rizal, this is the Rizal Memorial Sports Complex. It's an, an another la- landscape of heritage structure which is laid to waste for commercial enterprise. This, this complex has been declared a National Historical Landmark by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines and an important cultural property of the National Museum of the Philippines. But Mayor Manila Mayor Estrada converts it into mall in a joint project with a private group. This is the San Joaquin Church in Iloilo Province, also a Baroque church. So now po yung mga stone carvings, like very nice um, architecture. So in Iloilo, the San Joaquin Covenant convent ruins have become an unsightly warren of makeshift stalls and kiosks, notwithstanding its heritage status as natu- national cultural treasure. So I think before, the gang kayo mga naninda dere na mawala ang yahang view. But because I, because of, I don't know until now kung unsa. And this is an, another, this is the Manila Cathedral. Look how the architecture is. It's very nice. So the value of old churches, such as those in Intramuros, like Manila Cathedral, San Agustin Church, the Our Lady of Purification Parish Church in Binmale, Pangasinan, San Fernando City, Bawang Churches in La Union, and all church churches located in the Bupan, Pampanga, Bulacan, Laguna, Balagtas, Visayas, Mindanao Churches, which are linked to our past and reflection to our identity becomes a source of pride to national unity. Pero, di ba na kayo na siya na taga ano priority or um, na focus, especially with the new generation. Some of the new generation don't appreciate such structure and the history behind the architecture, the structure. And this issue, this is the um, Jose Rizal Monument picture in 1920 and a 2012 picture wala nice pa kaayo limpyo kaayo ang background but today since 2014 na ay hugaw kayo ang background and that is the Manila um, Torre de Manila so lecturers from the Heritage Conservation Society recalled massacred cultural properties and vista corridors destroyed by structures like the Torre de Manila and also the case of Adoration Chapel of the St. Martin de Tours Basilica of Taal and that Spanish masonry aqueduct of San Juan City. So this is an example. This picture is an example. The massacre on Rizal Monument because you can see the background of this structure. So look at this and this. 2012. And lastly, the Leaning Tower of Pampanga. So this is a the water tower of San Fernando City, Pampanga. And it's almost a century old and was built during the American colonial period. And it's referred to referred as Pampanga's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. However, it was decommissioned in the late 1990s after a foreign consultant said that the structure had become unsafe. And also around 2005, the officials of the Barangay Lourdes passed a resolution to demolish it to protect the elementary school located within the crumbling distance and save Dalcia. 
sa mga bata. But good thing, the San Fernando Water Office deferred the action in order to conduct public consultations, which involved the University of the Philippines Urban Design Laboratory. So up until now, we still have this uh, century-old water tower in Pampanga. So that's it. Thank you for your time. And I hope that you've learned something interesting today. Bye.